great because normally, like at home, I never have the last word, so I will have that this evening. My question is, this afternoon as I was setting up for this event, I got a parking ticket. And the vote goes to the guy who can do this for me. So, I mean, I... <laughs> Not me. I would, right. tell, I would tell you, Bob, that it's indicative of the help we get from the state government of Iowa because they took away our machinery and equipment tax, but they allowed us to increase our parking fee from $5 to $15. I have noticed that recently. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, well, my question, I really do have the last question here, and that is, uh, I believe the question goes to Matt first, correct? Very basic. Why are you the best qualified candidate for mayor? Well, one, I have the experience. Um, two, I have the aptitude. Um, you know, the experience is not just 18 years on the city council. I am a professional businessman who advises businesses for a living. Um, I work for an Omaha bank. A lot of my uh, banking experience is working with large businesses in Omaha. I said it earlier, I can read a balance sheet. I understand risk management. I understand financing. Um, those are key components of managing a city. Um, I understand hiring and firing. Um, and, and I'd much rather hire than fire. So we'll grow the city. So we hire more employees. Um, I am a fourth generation, 57 year resident of Council Woods. I have given my life to this city and I fully expect to be in that office come January 1 because I don't have a clue what the hell I'll do. <laughs> I was going to say I agree with everything Matt said there. <laughs> uh, first, thanks to the, the Chamber and the Naparel for hosting us. Um, this is, uh, I've said this many times, I mean, there, there are two good candidates, and so you have decisions to make, and they're not the easiest decisions to make. But, you know, sometimes I feel like some people think that I've just rode downtown on my bicycle and said, hey, I'm going to run for mayor. I mean, that's, that's not the process that took place. I mean, I've thought about it for a few years. I've had a lifetime of public service. Uh, and for the last, you know, 22 years, again, I've been at the head of an organization similar to cities. So I have what can only be called an experienced leadership. I mean, I've been the leader. I've been the leader of the Iowa House of Representatives. When I left there, I was hired to run a statewide organization. I, I, I'm an experienced leader. I know what it means to do all those things that have been mentioned, hire, fire. Uh, and, and make efficiencies and, and really work with people. I've been battle tested. This isn't a partisan race and I'm grateful for that. But I mean, I have stood toe to toe with people of different political persuasions, worked with them, and yet many of them will still be uh, happy with me and still work with me. I know how to make things happen. I know how to get things done. I know how to bring people together. I mean, that's what my career has been. Goodness knows I understand budgets and I understand balance sheets and everything else. The budgets that I was partially responsible for, in many ways, very responsible for, total $5 billion. Uh, I went into negotiating sessions with governors with more money sitting in my back pocket to try to close down the session than the entire city budget is. And so I understand budgets, I understand personnel, I understand vision, I understand promotion. I mean, you don't get elected the leader of a partisan organization fought six times, five times with no, no opposition, uh, without knowing how to make people feel good, knowing how to make people work, knowing how to make people make things happen. Uh, my style as mayor would be to let hire good people, let those people do their jobs, but always be on top of what's going on. So as the chief executive, if you need to step in, you do that. I have a deep and abiding love for the city. My wife, Valerie, is here, and I'm thankful she's here tonight. Uh, my children, I chose to raise them here. When I left the legislature, I couldn't move. I chose to re raise them in Council Plus. I love this city. I think this has been a great uh, experience running. I commend Matt for his service and his running. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we've kept it on a, very, a relatively a very friendly level. And so I just think that I bring the right mix of experience to the job. And I'm going to ask you to vote on November 5th. Very good. Well, on behalf of the Chamber of Commerce and the non -Pharrell, I want to thank all of you for participating. We have an opportunity to play a part of history here in the next couple of weeks. This is the first mayor that we'll have, a new mayor that we'll have uh, in the last 25 years, as you've as you, as you heard. It is an important time.